basketball, played by some of the world's greatest athletes. What was the layup? And the set shot. Have become the slam dunk and the three-point field goal. The game has gone to the air. The precision of the long distance shot serves as counterpoint to the explosion of the slam dunk. Today, live from Seattle, it's All-Star Saturday. Are three rounds, the first round with all eight, then the semifinals and the finals. Now, there was a drawing yesterday as you look at the competitors here, and I'm going to give you these names in a little different order for the slam dunk championships. Two dunks in the first round, three dunks in the semifinals and the finals. And in order to encourage creativity, the competitors may replace up to two dunks per round. Uh, with the exception that you're, you're not really looking for a specific program that's designed. And here is the first competitor, Michael Jordan, who unfortunately couldn't be here last year because of injuries. And he was talking, you may have seen him, with Dominique Wilkins, who uh, wished him good luck. Oh, just like his commercial with the one hand, and then he switched it back to two to throw it through with authority. We'll see how the judges uh, come up with the scoring in this, and we'll watch the replay. Michael Jordan, now watch the cup move right here, and the swing over, and then the two-hand stuff as he... Whoa! ...that he initiated two years ago in Indianapolis. This is the Statue of Liberty 360, I think. Excuse me, Dawkins only had a 37. Leader right now is Drexler with 45. There you see the 360. Beautiful control. He says, well, I just kind of go. I get up in the air, and then I figure out what to do. It looked like it the first time. He changed his mind on that part of the ring. Tom is the tallest dunker here. He's 6'10". You notice, so there's Maurice Lucas in the stands. Got his card. Dominique Wilkins sitting right in front of our bench here. Sore back, couldn't compete today. Pretty good dunk by Gerald Wilkins. Percy Lectees, Walt Frazier looking on, always dapper. Wilkins with 41. This is Jerome Percy, a late entry. My dark he comes in from the baseline, the good leap over, throws it through with authority, comes up with a 48. Now, I think that Michael Jordan's dunk was comparable to that. Michael getting 41, he really got the short it. end of it. I agree with you. I disagree with the judges on that. Had a 41 in the first one. Uh, Jordan will get one more chance. He's the favorite coming in here, but he's got to beat a 49 by Stansberry and a 48 by Kersey and two 45s by Drexler and Harper. Now Michael, again, I don't think he's really put the, chore the choreography in that's necessary to get it. 47, that's on his second, and that's his best on this round. Well, pretty nice to be 6'2 and get up and dunk it like that, but again, uh, well, this is a little creative. He goes up, makes the move, a 180, two hands over the head on the front of the basket. going to be hard to beat. Into the round of, of four. Remember, eight competitors here in the second round will get four advancing. That's Ron Harper. So come up with the creativity in this contest to try and get the appeal of the judges. Like that. Jerome Percy. Who should make it into the finals, but you never know. Soar back. She said Dominic got all excited here and wanted to be in, but uh, I'm sure his team's happy he's not. In. Not bad from Jerome Percy. That's the... Second 50 of the day. Uh, 50. There was a 50 earlier in the uh, second dunk in the first round of Stansberry. Now, Michael Jordan told me he had something special. He may be trying to take off from the free throw line a la Julius Irving. Let's see what happens. He kind of measured it from there. He's going back, back. That very may well be it. The people are excited. They like this. I can hear his engines revving now. Here, from Jordan, ready to take field off. In <laughs> Chicago. to be a 50 by he took off just a little inside that free throw line one hand and double clutch it magic johnson gives him a nice five underneath the basket as he got out of the way let's watch this one again this deserves a second look michael taking off the patented tongue comes out just just in front of that line look at this the double clutch the reach out and the stuff he got 49 i don't believe it unbelievable here we go there's the slam camera the slam jam camera i like to call it as you see that little double reach out that if that's not a 50 
I don't know who didn't give him 10, but I want to see that judge. Sam Jones all looking on. Second try for Drexler. And that was a pretty good one, too. But he was a good foot in front of the free throw line. Exciting players thus far. Jordan and Kersey have a 50. A 49 for Stansberry first time. That's nothing. As we... It's right out there with Dominique and his ability to throw those kind of things through. And he does that type of stuff in competition. Second dunk in the semifinal. Michael Jordan. Now, Michael got some elevation that time. He had his head up there, and he did some creativity on that one. So Michael seems to be warming up. Let's look at it in super slow motion. Michael Jordan had a, a 50 on his first dunk. This is his second. The great elevation with the good, strong one hand. Again, the double clutch move. He ducks his head to get by the rim in the net, throws it back through as he did a little bit of a 180 spin on it. A 50 to 48. They changed it to a 50 to 1. I thought he had 49. It is 49. Check that. Out. He has two 49s. Drexler now comes. Jordan right now and uh, Kersey have the advantage. Stansberry. Authority. Semis has a 50, a 48, and a 49. Just to update you on where it is. Jordan has a 49 and a 49. Terrence Stansberry, a 49, 45, and a 50. And Drexler probably in danger of being eliminated. 46 and 50. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I love it. He went straight to the basket just like he was floating on air. Turned sideways, gave a little, little move to the side, and floated sideways to throw it in. Will they give Michael Jordan a 50? He I hasn't got one yet today. There it is. There he goes. He goes in straight, goes up in the air. Now he's sideways. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. <laughs> Look at his head above the rim. They show. Here he is again. The fans reacted to the replay on the screen here. Look at him hang and fly. Look at his head. <laughs> yeah, no problem for Dominique or Jordan. Let's see here. Clyde Drexler. <laughs> you fool me once. <laughs> Jerome Kersey over on the right side. So Kersey with a 46 out of 50. Hello. <laughs> How are you going to keep him down on the He's going to go and make a little 180 move as he heads towards the basket. He'll turn and get his back to the basket. There's the spin move. Now he floats, he glides, and he throws it through with power as he passes by. 48 for Michael Jordan. And once again, the judges being very... Tough on the competitors by Kersey. Let's pick up now. Here's his replacement dunk. He deals with Spud Webb. Spud, what do you think about Jordan so far? What do you think of what's happening so far, Spud, with Michael? Well, he's uh, took took his dunk into another notch, and he, you know, taking more difficult dunks. You like that one? Oh, that was great. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had the hands to do that. All right, Bob. So that was Michael Jordan's second one. And Rick Barry, let's take a look at it now. It's super slow-mo. Well, here we go again. Michael Jordan getting going down the runway, getting ready for takeoff. Takes off right, you see, at the bottom of the circle. Up in the air now. See the little move, the double clutch. Back up as he floats by. Here he is from the slant jam camera and throwing it through. But look at the skill, the style that he has. 48 he gets again. The judges real tough here in this final round. To 96 for Jordan. On the part of Jerome Kersey, who with late notice coming into the competition, replacing Tom Wilkins has done a nice job. And they give him a 49 on that one. Well, that's almost a repeat of the one that he came in from the side, turning sideways on. Possible for Michael Jordan to lose. He gets a 50 on his third dunk. There he goes on the takeoff. He goes sideways. Now the lean-in move. You see how he looks like Superman flying sideways through the air as he hooks it in from another angle. Watch the lean-in. Now he'll be almost parallel. We'll see the completion of it on the slam jam camera. So Michael Jordan is our winner with 146 points. In the final round, he had a dunk of 48, 48, and 50. Jerome Kersey, the late entry, the dark horse candidate of Rick Barry, got all the way to the finals.